Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy with Healthy Ambitions and I have a recipe today that if it turns out the way it's supposed to, it's going to be a complete game changer. Outside of bread, probably the number one most missed food on a low carb and ketogenic diet is noodles. Now, of course, we have things like cauliflower rice. We've got sp you know, spaghetti squash. We've got the palmini noodles. And all those are great, but they just don't quite provide that exact, you know, stretchy, chewy consistency that spaghetti noodles have. Now, me personally, I was a carb loaded pasta addict before keto. This girl loves her spaghetti. And with the spaghetti, what I love most on my spaghetti, it's not meat sauce, it's not Alfredo sauce, which I love. But spaghetti, the way I love it the most, is just with butter and Parmesan cheese. So that's gonna be the real test. At the end of this video, I will be taste testing this recipe with butter and Parmesan cheese, just to see if it really does fulfill that craving. Because honestly, even after three and a half years of, of keto, that's one thing that I will still crave on a pretty regular basis and I just don't let myself have. So this might, this might be the game changer for even me. Now this recipe has been done by I think Keto Asian or Asian Keto, let me see. Um, she's Ann at Keto Asian Flavors. Her recipe uses powdered egg yolk as well as lupin flour. I'm still undecided if lupin flour is something I want to use in my keto recipes because it is a legume and I'm not sure what the carb count is on that. But Steve, I think it's Steve, Serious Keto, over at Serious Keto, he basically altered her recipe and used chicken instead of egg yolk powder. And so that's what I'm gonna to try today. This recipe only has like five ingredients. That includes the water. So we are going to use five ounces of canned chicken. It doesn't get any easier than canned chicken. Um, I actually had 12 and a half ounce cans of chicken. So I went online, did the math. Five ounces of a can of chicken is drained, ends up being like 3.1 ounces of chicken. And so I'm gonna drain this and I'm just gonna weigh out 3.1 ounces with my food scale. It's gonna use xanthan gum. If you've been keto for a while, you probably already have xanthan gum in your cupboard. But the two brand new ingredients for me, and this is where we kind of get into some science of cooking, which things that I've never done before. Again, this is the first time I'm trying it. We have a company called Modern, Modernist Pantry or Kitchen Alchemy, and there's gonna be sodium alginate, which is derived from seaweed and then calcium lactate, and that is a sodium from, um, what is it? Hang on, I wrote it down. It is salt from fermented lactic acid. Um, so what these do is these will kind of gel up the your liquid con concoction. So if you've ever been at a restaurant and had like fruit juice um, caviar, it's like little balls of fruit juice and they kind of burst in your mouth, this is what those chefs use for that. And so apparently this is like kitchen black magic and we're gonna find out today if that is the case. The other things you will need for this recipe is you do need a good high powered blender. You need a big bowl and for the, the water bath and you also need a squeeze bottle because we're gonna put basically the, the mixture in here and we're gonna squeeze out the noodles using this squeeze bottle. So, all right, now it's time to test this out. Before we get started, the total time for this recipe is about 90 minutes, but like 85 minutes of that is totally resting time. The batter is resting or the noodles are resting. Um, so your actual active time with this is like less than 10 minutes. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add the five ounces of drained chicken or it's about 3.1 ounces drained with three cups of water into your high power blender. I'll put a link to my blender in the description box below. And we are going to pulse this for about 15 to 20 seconds because we want to liquefy the chicken. Now, with the blender on just a low speed, we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna sprinkle a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum while this is going. Let me put the top on to make sure it doesn't come up at me. All 
Okay, now it says the batter should be thick enough with the xanthan gum to take the lid off. And we are going to put one tablespoon, one tablespoon of the sodium alginate into this while it's blending for about another 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna take this and we are just going to pour it um, into our other measuring cup for the water. And we're gonna let this rest. Apparently there might be some bubbles that come up during the 30 minute resting period. So we will, uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, I'll be back in 30 minutes. So what I was reading is, is that you want as few bubbles as possible because the bubbles can actually break the noodles um, or cause very breaky noodles or something. I don't know. So anyway, so we're going to gently take off this little layer that has bubbles on it and then we will move along. Okay. It smells, it smells very, very chickeny right now. Oh, this is going to be thick. Hang on. Ooh, that's not, hang on. We're going to need a funnel. We're going to need to funnel this. That's what we need to do. All right. This, this should work better. We hope. Uh oh, too much, too much. <laughs> okay, we, we've got this. It almost was too much for one bottle, just a little bit too much for one bottle. Uh, so now we're gonna make our, our bath. Okay, you need seven cups of water. The temperature does not matter, and we are using the calcium lactate for this. This is also going to be one tablespoon of this. Let's see. And supposed to whisk this until it is all fully dissolved. Okay, so this this is where the magic is supposed to happen. You're gonna take a spatula and just start swirling the water as you squeeze your concoction into the water bath. A steady stream. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, it looks like noodles. Hang on. Let's get a closer look. I want to keep swirling. <laughs> okay. And it did recommend, you know, stopping and starting so you don't have one long noodle. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's creating noodles. All right, we're going to keep doing this and we will, uh, <laughs> oops, keep swirling, keep swirling. And, uh, we'll see how this goes. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It looks like noodles right now. We'll see how it ends up. Okay, they're, they're all in there and... They, they feel pretty noodly, maybe a little bit gummy right now, but these are gonna, we're gonna set these in here or leave them in here for an hour and to, I guess, fully set. And then we will, uh, then we'll test them out. Okay, so it's been, it's been an hour. These are ready. I'm going to drain them and then I'm just gonna heat them up in, um, in a saucepan with some water and add my butter and parm and give these an official taste test. I do want to show you something. So if you don't, <laughs> if, if you don't have a, an even squeeze with the, uh, the squeeze bottle, you do get some funky shaped noodles. So let, let me show you that before I, <laughs> before I start prepping it to taste test it. So a lot of these noodles look really, really good. And you know, they're, they're very stretchy like pasta. I do have, I do have a few globs in here, which could be off-putting to some people. Um, but the, most of the noodles actually look really good. So I think that, that just comes with some practice in, in making these noodles and squeezing them out. We'll see.
Okay, what I ask that you don't judge my use of butter and Parmesan cheese on noodles. That is just how I grew up eating them. That's how my uh, granny used to make them when she would keep me. And it just kind of stuck. And I, I actually passed it on to my children, to, uh, which my, <laughs> my husband can't stand. But anyway, here's my butter and parm noodles. Let's, um, let's give it a taste test. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't even, hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh, I can't even, the texture, it's perfect. I can't even, oh my gosh. I, I did not expect it to be this good. Like I said, I've tried every other keto noodle variety out there. And this is the first one that delivers to this level. <laughs> I mean, I am so... I am on board. I'm about to go eat this. I'm going to end this video. But I will say this. I want to um, play around with the recipe some. Probably do a little bit of a hybrid from what Series Keto has done and Anna over at Keto Asian Flavors. I, have to, I will link both of their videos in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I want to play around with it with uh, some of the flavoring and the coloring. And my understanding is any ingredients you can liquefy, you can put into this solution to make noodles which means that the flavor options and colors and, and everything else are really limitless. Um, I will say this, the ingredients for these, these little two ounce packets are like $10 a pop, but you get, I mean, it's only a tablespoon of each of these, um, both of these each are, so 10 bucks each, so it's $20 for both of these. To buy in bulk to get the, I think they're like 14 ounce bags, which is like seven times this size. It knocks the per ounce price down by half. And I was just doing some rough cost analysis between this and say like Palmini noodles. And even though it seems more expensive to start, you use so little of it at a time that it's actually more cost effective than using something like Palmini. I haven't checked Miracle noodles, um, but my guess is even though it, it seems expensive and it's a little scary and sciencey, I think this is actually gonna be a more uh, economic noodle to make and it's so easy oh my gosh um, it looks it's it it looks pretty easy I wasn't sure but actually doing it and practicing it and making it um, it actually was really easy so yeah I think uh, spaghetti is back on the menu all right guys I'm gonna go finish eating this and I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't done so yet make sure you hit that subscribe button especially because I'm gonna be playing around with this noodle recipe and you're gonna want to see those so if you click that bell notification off to the side, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Guys, you have an amazing day. I'm going to go eat, and I will see you on the next video.